Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for middle of May. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. This may or may not be for you. This is what, whatever I'm picking up on. Aquarius, what do we have for Aquarius for middle of May? You know, any time in May really, but this is mid-May, Aquarius. Ooh, well, what a good, what a, what a nice new beginning we have here. So yeah, that's what this is. This is a, this is wonderful, really. It is. I mean, the death. This is death. This is the the end of one phase and the beginning of another. So something has come to an end, or it is about to come to an end. This is a major change in your life, a transformation. So you are about to go through some sort of transition that is going to bring you right to a new fresh start of some sort. Um, this is rebirth, the birth of something new. Oh, well, yeah, there's some tension. There is some tension. You could be conflicted about this fresh new start, right? Sometimes change is scary. So, you, you, you know, whatever. Um... Yeah, this is be careful. Something is going to be revealed. I mean, the Seven of Swords, this is somebody could get caught. It's like you could be dealing with some people that... It's almost like this is a game of some sort. Yeah, this is a game. You got some people that are messing with you, it seems like. This is a message that you don't want to hear. Okay, be careful. So, be careful. There could be some conflict, okay? This is all conflict. So, yeah, there could definitely be some conflict. Um, you may need to set up a barrier, right? You may need to put your guard up here. You could be dealing... Who, this could be somebody that's younger than you, somebody that is spiteful. Okay, so be careful. You may have somebody who's jealous of you. I'm just being honest. You could even have like a thief. I mean, you could even be dealing with a thief here. Somebody that um, is distrustful, put it that way. You could be dealing with a water sign. We have the Queen of Cups reversed, okay? This is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's reversed. This is somebody who's not emotionally available, okay? This person isn't open to love at this point. This person is withdrawn. This person may see themselves as a victim. This could go vice versa. So th this could be you. Th you may not be ready for love. You may not want love. You may not feel like you're emotionally available for love. Who, this is a person who is not emotionally available for love emotionally unbalanced can't master their emotions may cry a lot tearful this is your change and this is so this is a change we have a change here change is coming you may be making a choice to drop somebody you know drop out of a game this is you know you made i'm going to drop out of this this is there's no stability there's no st there's no security here this could be the end of a, I mean, this is the, the Ten of Pentacles is, it's like a dying dream. It's like something in in your family. This is like the end of a legacy. It could be. It could be. It doesn't have to be. Um, somebody could be moving out. There could be a change in your home. Um, then we got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You may, you may be dealing with two people. You could be dealing with two people. You could have a, if you are, I don't know, you, you may have a choice between two people. Maybe you don't want anybody. I don't know. This is no investment. Not putting in effort. Somebody's not putting in effort. There's no growth left here. Somebody has been holding on to an unri unrealistic situation where there's dissatisfaction. But there is an opportunity for love. I mean, the Ace of Cups, there's an opportunity for love. There's new love here. There is. And you may need to make a choice between two people. This is what this looks like to me. 
I think Aquarius, you need to make a choice between two people. You may have one person that is deciding to give up because no effort is being put in. Um, hmm. Massive change is coming. And I think this massive change stems from some sort of truth coming out. Yeah, somebody's been dishonest. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords reverse. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. No togetherness, no compromise, lack of communication, no communication. There's been a, or there's been miscommunication, there's been miscommunication which has hindered two people from coming together. Or a situation from coming together. Something has hindered something, the no communication or the lack of communication or the dishonest communication. I think we have somebody here that is definitely unable to make a decision because they're something it's like their heart they're not following their heart we have the king of cups reversed and the queen of cups reversed they're they're not following their heart somebody's giving deep thought deep 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 thought and it's like they, they may be realizing that they are dealing with a person that doesn't have good intentions or they don't have an open heart so I feel like we have somebody here that is basically realizing that they have been waiting for movement from a person that is not emotionally available and it's like they've been going back and forth with that two of pentacles somebody's been going back and forth back and forth in regards to changing their path here we have new love but somebody hasn't been reciprocating or they haven't been communicating. There's been a lack of communication. There has. And I think because somebody has been emotionally withdrawn because they have been worried about making the wrong decision. They've been worried about this change. Maybe they, they haven't been able to make the decision because of there's a lot of people in the play in the play here there's a lot of people in the mix that have opinions and that are putting the stick in their nose in and, and causing a person to feel conflicted so i think we have a lot of people that are hindering a person's decision to move towards love and it's causing this person to withdraw emotionally because they're not able to follow their heart it's, it's, we have somebody here that has been unable to communicate and come together. But it feels like they want to. It's like they want to. They want to step over that edge. They have discovered a new opportunity. They have. And they're at that crossroads where they have to decide what's best for them. You know, what's going to help them to bring peace and harmony to their lives. I feel like we see to have somebody that sees that there's there is something um, there is something better and I think that we're, that somebody has reached the point where I just want to be happy I want to be happy I don't I don't want to have to prove myself anymore I think we have somebody here that may have thrown away a golden opportunity because they were dealing with 
a person or people that because we have people in that car not just one or people that you know that they were trying to prove something to they were trying to maybe they were even trying to protect these people but they've been they may be realizing that they were holding on to a false sense of security you know Somebody has been avoiding accepting a solid opportunity because I think it's because of other people. There is. There's a lot of people that have their fingers in the pie that are causing somebody to feel to emotionally withdraw from a love connection. Somebody is dealing with a person that is negative, pessimistic, a Debbie Downer, somebody that doesn't have anything good to say, and it, it, it's caused another person to not move forward, not go after their own wish fulfillment. It could be a child. It could be a child. It doesn't have to be. But it, I think it's somebody that's a little bit younger. Somebody doesn't have a lot of life experience. Anyway, I feel like we have somebody that it, that is wanting wish fulfillment. And they're thinking about it. And they probably have a better opportunity. You know, they see a better opportunity. But they're dealing with somebody who is holding them back. Distracting them from their own happiness and I think we we have somebody here that is losing an opportunity and I think they're losing the opportunity because of this other person anyway I feel like the, but there is love there is love so follow your heart this is in the approach position follow your heart Aquarius communicate with the one that you love Move towards the one that you love. Listen to your gut. It's time for a change. It's time for your transition. Endings bring new beginnings. It's time for you to face this storm. It's time for you to deal with any conflict and upheaval that it might cause. Because there is a golden opportunity here that is slipping away. It's slipping away. And it's slipping away because somebody is taking a long time to think about what makes them happy. It's like they're letting another person decide their happiness. You really need to take a time out to think about this. Take all the time that you need seriously to really think about what's gonna what 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 your heart wants. I think this is a time of introspection. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of deciding, you know, which way to go. I think that we have somebody here that does see a new opportunity. It's an opportunity that could that could grow into something big, solid, and secure pretty quickly. This is somebody has been presented with a new path and now, you know, they, they need, they're trying to figure out whether this is the, the best option or not. I think that somebody could, has received a message or they have received an offer that looks really good. It does. It seems like it's really good and I think it is a good offer, but... There's, there could be some guilt. There could be some worry about what everybody else is going to say. And somebody may be leaving another person out in the cold because they're let, allowing themselves to be a victim of this circumstance. They're letting their insecurities get the best of them. But I do feel like that somebody is probably going to take action because their heart is tugging at them. It's saying, follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your heart. You know, it's time to wake up. Somebody has been doubting what their heart wants, letting their own self-doubt and self-loathing and their lack of awareness cause them, some, cause them to have some sort of loss. But there is love here. There is definitely with the Knight of Cups and the, and the Page of Cups. It's like somebody hasn't been following their own true path. It's like they, 
they know that their heart wants something, but they have been denying what their heart wants. And I feel like we have, you know, an offer of love that is being presented that, but it's being, it's almost like it's being avoided because of other people. This is put in effort. Have fun. Celebrate your life. If you are single, you could meet somebody. You could meet somebody through uh, social media, or maybe you have met somebody through social media, or you're, you meet somebody out socializing, you meet somebody at a party, whatever. You could even meet somebody at work. You could meet, this could be somebody that you work with and you go for drinks after work. For some of you. Anyhow, um, this is an offer of love. So you, there's an offer of love here. But it's almost like it's being denied. It's almost like it's being denied because somebody is... It's almost like there's definitely other people that are causing a stalemate, okay? Indecisiveness. Somebody has caused, it's like this person can't make a decision. There's indecisiveness. It's a terrible injustice. It really is. It's a terrible injustice. Somebody is not following their truth. They're not. With the, with the judgment reversed and the, and the justice reversed, they're not honoring their truth. They're not following their heart. It's like there's an opportunity to fall in love here. But somebody is not doing the right thing. And I think they're not doing the right thing because of other people. Could be children. I think that you, somebody is receiving a message or they're receiving communication from somebody that they really love. But it's almost like they're rejecting that love because... Maybe forgiveness is needed in some way. I mean, the judgment is forgiveness is needed. In, in Three of Swords, forgiveness is needed. Maybe, maybe they're afraid they won't be forgiven. It's like somebody is holding on to pain and it's time to release it. Somebody is going to take action. Thank thank the Lord. This is this is I somebody making a decision to take action. I'm going to follow my heart. So I think that we have somebody here that hasn't been following their heart and it's time for a change. And somebody's about to take action and let these past hurts behind and stop. It's almost like I'm going to stop lying to myself. Okay, the justice reverse. That's what I feel like it is. It's been an injustice. There's been dishonesty. Somebody hasn't, and you see there's feelings on both sides. The page of cups, I mean the knight of cups and the page of cups. Somebody hasn't been following and, and going after what their heart wants. And it's like all of a sudden, I think it's a sudden decision. This is suddenly, with the page of wands, a sudden decision to... Go after what my heart wants because it's going down here to the love. Yeah, somebody has been holding on to something, holding on. Resisting change. 
but now they're moving. So this is good. Um, it's time. It's time. This is transformation. It's transformation. Both of them cards are cards of transformation. So Aquarius, I see you guys definitely, maybe you're deciding to move. I'm moving. Uh, it's time. time. It's time for me to take the reins back. It's time for you to take control of my life. It's time. It's time. It's time for this change. It's time for my new life. It's time for my new beginning. It's time for me to be loved. So I feel like I see forward movement. And it could happen suddenly. It really could. It really could. I think somebody is going to receive an offer. Or they have received an offer. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a loving offer. And it's a stable offer. And they have been neglecting the offer because of other people. And it's like there's some sort of... I don't know what. Maybe it's an epiphany with a tower reverse. There's some kind of shake-up. Or there's some kind of who knows what lightning bolt that wakes somebody up and, and, and kicks, it, kicks them into action, okay? I can't, you know, I need, it's time. It's time for me to take back. It's time for me to master my emotions and take the high road. I'm taking back control. I'm going to replace this fear with faith and I'm going to put myself in the driver's seat of my own life. I'm the owner. I'm the boss. You know, I'm taking back control. So I feel like that's what we have. I think we have somebody here that is deciding to take action. It's like a sudden decision. I got to follow my heart and I'm moving forward. So I feel like you are probably going to be communicating with somebody. There's going to be messages going back and forth. I think they're going to be loving messages. They're going to be supportive messages. Um, I think there's been some indecision. There's been some guilt. There's been some conflicts with other people. But I see somebody basically, you know, taking the reins and saying, you know what? I got, I got to follow my heart. I got to follow my heart. So I, I, you know, I feel I see movement here, big time, big time movement. I see big change, major change is coming, and it's going to lead you to, to something very successful, very victorious. This is triumph. And I think it's going to happen fast. I think that we have some sort of love connection that is going to... move very quickly in a positive direction you know it's gonna it's gonna have a positive outcome whatever it is a love connection that is going to move in a positive direction this could be an obsession of some sort you know it's something that you just can't let go of it's so passionate so anyway, we have a we have love here, Aquarius, and I think it's undeniable and I think that somebody's about to take charge. I got to take charge of this situation because this is what I want. So I see forward action. I do. I see I see something coming to light, the truth coming out. What has been hidden is and this is the seven of swords, the truth is coming out too. Seven of swords reverse with the with the moon reverse. Some sort of truth is, is coming out. It's like it's there's you can't hide it. You can't hide the truth. This is love. So I think that that uh, you guys are headed right into a love situation. I mean that's what I see. Um if you are coupled, you may have a choice between two people. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there is a couple. You may. You may have a choice between two people. And there's an opportunity that seems like it's slipping away with that Ace of Pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign and an earth sign because we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. They're both reversed. Somebody is needing to make that choice. And I feel like we have somebody here that is. It's like they're making that decision to let go of this false foundation, this false sense of security. I'm ready to let go of these past hurts because I want this love. Somebody is headed towards love and I think it's happening fast. There's going to be messages going back, back and forth. There is. That's what I see. I see what it has hidden is coming to light and you guys have a major life change right in front of you. Good luck.